Incorporated. Okay, good morning. Um, it is it is day 20 for me. I'm on day 20. And my total number down is 11.6. Uh, this week it was 1.6. So basically, um, I'm, I'm still going down, which is good because I had two days off. Um, I went out to dinner yesterday at a wonderful Greek restaurant local here in Fort Lauderdale. They have an organic chicken that is awesome, so it doesn't kill my diet. So that's something, you know, I, I get those safe restaurants and I uh, that I can actually enjoy going out. Um, other than that, I really don't go out to restaurants. Um, but anyway, so moving forward today, I want to leave obesity. And I think that's one of the most important things about this journey that I've started is that I realized that I was in the realm of obese again. And I am going to do everything I can. I'm going to treat this like, uh, you know, my body's on fire right now. So um, I'm going to tackle obesity head on right now. And what I've decided to do is to, it is Monday. I like, you know, really tackling stuff on Monday. Everybody gets back to work, right? Um, and I'm going to fast until I am out of obesity. So, and what that means for me right now is 3.4 pounds. Now I know, I know that my little eight to um, 16 plan that I've been doing with intermittently doing um, like a four hour window of eating, I know that that would slowly get me down as well because I've had great workouts in the middle of it. I, I think that's helping a lot, um, exercising in the fasted state. And, you know, I have no doubt that it would, will work. I just think it'll work in a month from now. You know what I mean? I think I think when I was losing weight, I would lose two pounds um, and then the next week I wouldn't lose. So each week I'd lose two pounds, nothing the next week, two pounds. So you're looking at a pound a week weight loss and that probably is a great thing. It's what those diet programs wanna see course they want you to stay in their program longer as well um, but I am I'm in a hurry <laughs> I mean I hate to say this but I am I want to get out of obesity as fast as I possibly can and according to the CDC which is our center of disease control here um, my weight of a hundred getting to a hundred and eighty eight pounds means that I am no longer in obesity and I have 3.4 pounds to go. So starting now, uh, Monday the 16th of September, that is the 16th of September, okay. September 16th, Monday, I am going to fast until I am no longer in the category of obesity. So. I am going on a fasting strike to get rid of my obesity. Um, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully this will work. Um, it won't trigger a totally different response. Now I've been on this program for 20 days now, so I've had some success, you know, with with dealing with the hunger. Um, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody jumping right in because, I mean, I had a few days that were crazy. Um, and I, I got to get that on the video too because the one day I went grocery shopping in a fasted state and it messed up my brain. I was very hungry. I was like in this like panic um, almost, almost, almost having a, a panic attack of hunger. <laughs> and so I really recommend that you don't do that. Um, yeah, so I am to, to prepare for this, uh, hunger strike, um, if you will, 
against my obesity. I have made my husband his dinners. I have them in the refrigerator. I made him his lunch. I have quick and easy things frozen for him to take uh, tomorrow as well. And I am staying out of my kitchen. I'm staying out of the grocery stores and I'm staying out of my kitchen. That's kind of my plan of attack right now. I don't have a lot of food in my, um, in my house right now um, on, by design and hopefully um, I can mentally press through on this, um, on this journey to, so seven o'clock yesterday, Sunday night, I stopped. So I am going to go until that scale says 188. Um, and that's my fasting window. And that's what I'm doing for the next couple of days. So uh, like I said, I'm tackling this like it is a health issue for me. Um, I wanna get out of obesity as fast as I can. I know how bad it is. I have a lot of visceral weight around my stomach and I know how bad it is for my gut health. So I need to leave obesity. It is not me. And, and that's it. I mean, it's really a simple plan. Just not eat. I'm gonna have water. I'm gonna drink my coffee. I'm gonna have tea. And hopefully I can tackle this 3.4 pounds pretty fast. I'm hoping, <laughs> you know, you get at these plateaus and I, I just, I can't take another month of just plateauing in obesity. So I really want to get out of it. And I really think that this is the best way at this current time to tackle this issue. And I, you know, in talking in, on YouTube with, you know, Dr. Jason Fung, um, you know, that it is. He prescribes it for people with diabetes. You know, he prescribes a, a fast to get in and he shows what, what benefits it actually is. Um, Ken Berry, Dr. Ken Berry on there. Um, if you want a really good program to jump you into this, I got Thomas DeLauer's um, thing that he does a fast with everybody, which I, I wish he was doing right now because that would be wonderful. Um, but of course, he's not right this second. Um, but he does like a community fast and on YouTube. He does a YouTube community. That's what I love. Like all these, all these experts are right here. I mean, I, I can't afford uh, even doctor's visits anymore. I mean, I don't know about you, but I can't believe any time I go in for anything, um, all of a sudden they charge me a fortune. I got hundreds of dollars of bills because they ran tests and then they all come out negative and there's nothing wrong with me and I know what's wrong with me. I'm overweight at this point, you know, and it's, it, it's so frustrating um, because there just isn't, there isn't a lot of prevention in this country um, and focus on it. So you really have to like take this initiative and learn all you can about, you know, about your current situation and try to figure out the best plan for yourself. The blood, you know, I am not a doctor. I am not, well, obviously, I am not a nutritionist. I am not any of those things. I'm just somebody trying to navigate this crazy, uh, this crazy diet world that we've created in this country and trying to get myself healthier. I mean, we've created a 24 seven eating window and I think it's really dangerous. Um, like I said, I, I got down naturally by doing fasting down to a great weight at 147 pounds and everybody was like, oh, you can't do that. You can't, that's terrible for you. And, and, and I listened to the, I listened to the people that said, you don't want to get yourself too hungry. And then, I, and I've gained back all my weight from there. So, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little hungry for a while. I'm gonna sit with that hunger. I'm gonna let my body do the work that it should do. Because you know what, frankly, I ate uh, four months ago for this, uh, you know? I ate all last year 
to provide me with the, enough nutrients, the body really is amazing, enough nutrients, enough food, enough fuel to spend the next few days or however long it's going to take <laughs> not eating. So I have the fuel, I have all the, I got all the reserves I need. Um, I'm going to stay well hydrated. I'm going to do be salted, well hydrated, hydrated and coffeed and teed. And all right, day one of my super fast, fast, because um, I'm just not going to take it anymore. I'm not, I'm not putting up with my, um, my obesity and I'm going to, I'm going to eliminate it uh, and I'm not going back. I am not going, Julie, you are not going back. You're never going back to this weight again. So if you have to go back and review these videos and look back on your, your putting yourself out there on YouTube, if you go back again, you're going to have to do it on YouTube. Uh, nothing like some humiliation to get you motivated. Some good humiliation to get you motivated. So, yeah, and that's my plan. All right, so we'll see how, how I do. Um, it's a mental struggle as well as a physical one. It mentally is a, it, it's a mental struggle. It's more mental than it is physical. I could actually deal with the, um, with hunger pains. It's the psychological, uh, I need it, I need it, you know. You know, sometimes to stop eating, you just have to stop eating. <laughs> just have to stop eating. So, anyway, I'll leave with that. <laughs> All right. Bye.